Hi everyone, I'm Christine from Auckland Girl Trip. Seeing if we're back in lockdown, it's not a very good time to actually get another video up for you to see. So one of the ones that we had talked about, one of the things that we had talked about was girthing and where is a good place to get your horse comfortable when you're riding. I uh, said so this is just with English saddles, we've got a long girth and a short girth version. So what I wanted to talk about today is that just with, thank you Tricky, just with people, um, there are certain areas that are a little bit more tender and we want to make sure we know that we want the saddle to be sitting on the nice supportive structure of the horse and the muscles that's going to be sitting on that longitudinal dorsi. But in regards to some sensitive structures and where the buckle should sit when we're girthing up, this is an important consideration for part of riding to get your horse comfortable. Um, and when we talk about girthy horses, there are a couple of issues that we like to rule out in regards to saddle fit. So when we're looking at a long girth on a horse, one of the things that's really important to make sure is ideally even or as even as possible on both sides. But looking at where this buckle placement is. So on Tricky, who's my wonderful little horse, you can see that in regards to where the bottom of the flap is, our buckles do sit on top of. If he was to get a little bit fatter, and he was to be ridden on a longer girth, one of the things that can happen is people think, oh, it's okay, I've got elastic, it's going to stretch, the horse puts on weight. But if these buckles are sitting directly on your horse's rib cage, it's actually really uncomfortable, causes some pressure points and quite potentially can damage the muscle. The area on the horse is through that latissimus muscle, so the lats run on the angle up underneath here, and this is the area that we want to be girthing on. It doesn't matter how high up it goes for a dual flap or a long girth, what you'll find is that the higher up it goes, the potential it is to be more bulky, but from a horse's point of view, the perfect spot would be roughly the middle. But so long as it's high enough to sit on the flap, we're okay. So, Tricky has been my little guinea pig today and I've just drawn a couple of lines on. So just to give you a bit of an idea, we've got our scapula here. We have got our thoracic trapezius, so we've got our cervical part up here, but the thoracic part, we've got this special, uh, sorry, sensitive spinal area along here that we don't want the saddle to be sitting on those spinal ligaments. We've got our latissimus that runs along, so this is our weight-bearing muscle, sorry, our longissimus, and our latissimus, which is the lateral one. So in this area, this is where we want those buckles to drop, it's in the middle of the muscle. If we start to put a buckle too far down, not only is it uncomfortable with the pressure, but you can find that where the muscles start to join, there's nothing that holds them together apart from a bit of face here and some skin, so they can be pushed apart, and that is really uncomfortable for the horse, and potentially once you've separated those, um, you're always going to have a weakness and a discomfort for the horse. Down here we have got our caudal pecs, um, so they're obviously the same thing, they come through underneath the chest area of the horse they sit side by side so we want to make sure that this area of the horse below the point of that elbow doesn't have a short girth sitting on it so in regards to girthing up with our short girth, our mono dressage, mono fit saddles as well as the dressage will have these. We want to make sure that we can have it done up so that the buckles aren't impeding the rider's foot when they're sitting here. But from a horse's point of view we want to make sure that the buckle is sitting high enough that it is up out of the way and we haven't got the pressure point from the buckles down too low, causing discomfort. So, just to summary, with a short girth, find that point of your horse's elbow, make sure the buckles sit up higher. Um, this is a personal preference. Once you're on, depends where your legs sit. Obviously, you don't want the buckles in the way of your boots either. 
So we've got a nice little space between the bottom of the flat, not too high up, so it's going to catch and pinch. And up above that horse's elbow, that is the ideal area for your short horse to sit in. 